here at the Razer Suite, we're hands-on with the Razer Sabertooth. This is a replacement and a more premium option compared to their previous generation Onza console controller. This works for Xbox 360 and for PC, and they've made a couple of tweaks to the functionality that I think gamers are gonna enjoy. Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. While it doesn't have macro functionality because they're trying to maintain their tournament legality, it does have some extra buttons. So just like the Onza, you have programmable buttons. So check out here. You have your regular left and right shoulder. You have your analog triggers on the left and right. These two right here are programmable. When I flip it over, aha, you have two more programmable switches that you can trigger with the fingers that go under the controller like this. So you can rock them back and forth. So you have a total of six programmable buttons. The overall quality of the controller feels dramatically better than Onza. It's extremely rigid, extremely stiff, and looks like it can handle not only being chucked around, but also some abuse on the connector. The connector itself actually screws in and it has a four pin inside that's keyed, so you can only put it in the correct way. You've also got a braided sleeve, which we've come to expect from any sort of high quality razor component. The accessories that it includes are rubber caps, a carrying case, as well as rubber covers. In case you don't want to use these switches, it includes a screwdriver and rubber covers. You can take those off. It's totally up to you. Programming it is a piece of cake. So it's got two profiles and you can remap any of the six programmable keys. We're going to go out of that. All you do is hold this down, program, or rather press this, program mode. You press the programmable button you want to program and then you want to go, okay, I want to remap that to X. Done. Now you can customize the controls for your game regardless of whether the game developer actually was going to allow you to do that. So you switch between your profiles. Also, if you decide, okay, look, I don't want any profiles at all, I want to go back to bone stock, you hold this down for five seconds, say, yeah, I want to totally wipe it, it's done. It does have rumble, which, of course, any premium controller would these days, and I think that pretty much covers it. So thank you for checking out this video of the Razer Sabertooth. Don't forget to check out all our coverage here at CES 2013 by subscribing to Linus Tech Tips. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.